Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it is wash day and the title of the video is wash day with Sultanicals. So I'm going to show you what I am using for this entire wash day. Of course, it's an entire wash day of Sultanicals. Duh. So I just shampooed with the rice vitamin, sprout rice vitamin shampoo. This is so thick and creamy and it smells amazing. And now I'm getting ready to deep condition. So today I'm deep conditioning with the Fro Despair vitamin hair repair. I have never used this before, so we are going to do this together. It's green. It smells green. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this works. A lot of people rave over this deep conditioner, so when it came back, I had to try it. Now this one is a little thicker in consistency to me than some of the rest of the deep conditioners, but it's still spreading on very nicely. But it is a little thick. There you go. Okay, so the product is in my entire head right now, and it's showing the superfood ingredients right here. Some of those are distilled water. It's botanically infused with horsetail, rosemary, um, spring, spirilla, spirilla, wheatgrass, barley grains, oat grains, alfalfa, organic olive oil, broccoli seed oil. I mean, this is just packed with so many great ingredients. So I'm going to leave this in. It says to leave this in for 30 minutes or overnight rinse and style as usual. I'm gonna leave this in for 30 minutes and I'm gonna be back with the styling. Okay guys, so my hair is totally rinsed out. It has no product in it, so I'm just gonna let you see what my hair looks like after rinsing out that deep conditioner. Love, love, love the deep conditioner. Now I see why it's a fan favorite. So I'm going to go ahead, section my hair into fours. We're going to put the even conditioner in and I'll be right back. So I'm going to apply the hair glide, the not proof, not proof hair glide, slip and slide, not proof hair glide. I have never used this before. This is brand new for me. So we're going to test this out. This, oh, this smells good. It almost reminds me of the mango. But it kind of smells like coconuts. So I know a lot of people love this also. So when it came back in stock, I was like, I must get it. Okay, this is how it comes out. This smells really good. It's very, very creamy. So this can be used as a detangler or as a leave-in conditioner. And it's just gliding through my hair. That feels really, really good. Wow. I hope I didn't put too much on. So I'm going to go ahead, do the rest of my head, and we will come back with the styler. Next, we are trying the curl juice, and this is the vegan hair mousse. I am so excited about this. And this is the pump dispenser it comes out of, so I'm going to take a smaller section. I'm going to split this a little bit and we're going to see how this works. So let's see if I can show. Oh, okay. So that's how it comes out. Smells kind of fruity. Oh, wow. Okay. I already see that was too much for that section. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take the hair that I had split off and we're just going to work this in together. Ooh, that was a lot. Learning curve. Wow. Okay. Clearly, I did not need that much. So, let me cut this right quick. Okay, but you can see the curl definition. So, we're going to try this on. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do this side for you guys. Because I told you, for anybody that's watched me for a while, my hand the back... It's a different grade 
than the hair here, which is different than the hair up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this low porosity section next and see what happens. So I'm gonna split it in half. I'm gonna do just the tiniest squirt ever. So there we go. And let's see what happens with this section. Now that might have been too tiny of a pump. Let's see, nope. It's still lathering up. So I'm guessing this is lathering up because of the deep conditioner that, um, the leave-in conditioner that I used previously. Because I'm just taking the tiniest amount and putting it on my hair. And it is just going to town. Lathering. So, there we go. It's, this is going to be interesting, so, okay. So I'm going to keep going, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Here is my hair. You can see there is still some white going on, but it does seem to be dissipating because this was the first section that I worked on over here, and it seems like it's going away. So this was the second section that I did and you can see the white is leaving. So it seems to be foaming up white, but it is leaving. So I'm gonna do my little turn so you guys can see what my hair looks like. And as usual with Sultanicals, I still have movement in my hair. It looks full, even though this is a mousse. So there you have it. Curl definition is banana. So this is giving me more of a kind of wavy, kind of crinkly curl than, you know, those kind of tight Botticelli curls where it's like the ringlets that are really, really tight. So I'm going to see how this dries, but this looks really, really good. And I'm shocked that with a mousse, I still have a little bit of volume and movement. So it's going to be interesting to see how this dries. So follow me on Instagram. I will probably post a picture on there of the dry result of what my hair looks like. I have to go out in a little while. So I'm going to be out in the heat and we'll see how it stands up to that. I'm sure it's going to be so let me give you my final thoughts. So the slip and slide, not proof hair glide. This was super slippery. I loved it. Um, seems like a little bit of this goes a long way. The ingredients are just amazing as usual because it's a Sultanicals product. I mean, we're starting off with Slippery Elm. There's a slip. Um, Okra, marshmallow root, certified organic aloe vera juice, organic extra virgin coconut oil, organic extra virgin olive oil. Those are your top ingredients. Vegetable, silk, potassium, um, fragrance free. The ingredient list says it all. And lastly, we're going to go to the curl juice. I was super excited to try this. I like that you can see what it looks like and you can see how much you've used. So that's all I used today. So clearly this is going to last me for a while. So let's get to the curl boosting ingredients. We're starting off with organic aloe leaf juice, purified water. Um, there's olive oil in it. There are a lot of technical names, but she has an abbreviation what it really is, and that is olive oil. And of course, there are no sulfates, phylates, mineral oils, parabens, synthetic colors, or animal testing. And for me, with me having gray hair, I always look for products that do not have artificial colors in them because I do not want my grays turning brassy or yellow or just icky. So I'm going to be trying this again with different things underneath. So even though my hair was looking white and I was looking like I was 90 years old, you can see my hair has returned to its natural color. And that is fairly quickly just for me talking to you guys. It's already dried. The white has dissipated. And I'm back to normal.
I love that depending on what Sultanicals product you use, you can get different results. So you can go from getting tight little ringlet curls to looser, kind of more wavier curls for a type four person like myself. And as always, thank you for watching. Please remember to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and I will see you in the next video.